another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. Good day. This is a video about data validation in Microsoft Excel version 2007. Our objectives will include applying a validation rule to a range of cells, prohibiting users from choices other than what's available on a list of choices. Anytime you have a chance to control data entry in Microsoft Excel, take advantage of that chance. Whenever more than one user works in the same spreadsheet, the thought process among users is not the same. Everybody is different and everyone thinks differently. Here I have a spreadsheet that tracks information about employees, including their first name, last name, department, hours, rate, and then gross pay. Notice the drop down delta avails a list of department options. If I overtype this department name, changing it from admin to administration, when I go to accept the entry, I get an error message. The title of the error message is wrong department entry, and the text in the error message says you must choose the exact department name from the list. I will cancel. I have created a list in the spreadsheet of department names. This is the list a user must consider in changing department names or entering new records. Let's examine the validation rule. Under the Data tab on the Microsoft Office 2007 ribbon, in the Data Tools group, click Data Validation. This is the data validation dialog box. Little screenshot here. Notice three tabs. Settings, error message. Under the settings tab, and I've chosen alert. to allow a list. Options are available on the drop down. The source of the list is the range R2 to R10 with an absolute reference. This is the list I demonstrated earlier. If I click the Error Alert tab, here's a screenshot of the, the checkbox is on for Show Error stop. Alert Title after end error message. data is entered, and the style is a stop. I don't want the user to do anything else. This is the title of the dialog box, and this is the text that appears if the validation rule is violated. Okay? Let's set one up. In the Skill Worksheet tab, I track information about employees including their skill level. Notice the skill icon set as a conditional format, along with the review month. The review months are abbreviated. I don't want users to enter a review month and spell it out. This complicates my ability to filter, to count, to run subtotals, and do other valuable features built into Microsoft Excel. To create a validation rule, I'm going to set up a validation list. The only thing I don't like about this is that the list must be with resident to the worksheet. I can't go to another worksheet and set up my list. It would be nice if I could have a little worksheet called lists, put my list over there. Use the fill handle. There's my list. I'll select the range of cells for the val validation rule. Click Data Validation. Under the Settings tab, I'm going to choose to allow only what I have on a list. In the Source field, I'm going to collapse the dialog box, scroll to the list, and select the range, January through December abbreviated. I'll expand the dialog box. I'm going to select the Error Alert tab. I want to show the error. I want it to be a stop style. And the title will be Month Data Entry. I'm going to create a professional error message here so it's easy for the user to understand and they don't receive a Microsoft 
standard error message customized in bill speak. Click OK. If I test the validation rule, I'm going to enter January. And I'll spell it out. When I accept the event, the error message appears. The title, month data entry, and the professional message advising the user that the data is inconsistent with requirements set by the spreadsheet. So to review, data validation rules can be set for ranges of cells in the spreadsheet to allow data entry from a list in Microsoft Excel. Use the data validation button under the data tab and make the choices appropriate for your needs in the Excel spreadsheet. Another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the Office of Dell Institute.com.